皆さん、こんばんは。マッシュは日本です。今日一緒に新しい日本酒を飲みましょう。Hello everyone, this is Matthew in Nihon coming to you with my newest Nihon shoe review. And today I am reviewing a very special Junmai shoe from the Bandai company or the Kobayashi Sakagura. Bandai being the parent company name, with Kobayashi apparently being the name of the Sakagura itself. Now, this place is located in Umicho, Fukuoka, very close by, and it was founded in 1792 in the Edo period. They have used the fresh waters and the rice grown domestically to produce award winning Nihonshu for generations. Their Nihonshu has been proudly presented at various fairs and exhibitions and has brought great acclaim to both the Sakagura and their family. Now, I am very excited to review this Nihonshu as it was eagerly voted for by the Japanese members of the Nihonshu Nation and the fact that it is from a local Sakagura. There are still many Sakuguras I have not yet discovered locally, and I can't wait to try them all. But the biggest reason is that I prepared a very special pairing. Now, what are we pairing this Nihonshu with? Well, we have some asparagus, which I have cooked myself. And then. Moving over, we have salmon. Again, I, which I cooked myself. And just a hint of lemon. And to finish it off, some roast chicken. Now, Today, I am reviewing a Junmaishu called Cho Karakuchi Junmaishu Hakata no Mori. And I know that is a mouthful. It translates roughly to its super dry Junmaishu Hakata no Mori. And as stated in the name of the Nihonshu itself, this is a very dry Nihonshu. It Falls on the Nihonshu Do at a solid plus nine. This is the driest Nihonshu I have ever knowingly consumed.、Uh, the Semi Boy is at 60%, and this Nihonshu has fermented to between 15 to 16%. It is famed for being crisp and tasty, and reportedly is best matched with light, elegantly seasoned food. Which makes me really hungry. So let's get started. Now the bottle has just been opened and we can pour. All right, and here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, that's interesting.、Mm. There is a definite, almost rose like bouquet to the Nihon Shu, mixed with just a hint of mushroom. And that's just the smell. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's interesting that the reviewers before called it crisp. I actually am finding it more creamy, cleanish. A different, it's definitely a cleaner flavor, but I would not say it's crisp. Still, it's very good. It doesn't have any standout f 
flavors or notes that I can describe except a very herbal quality, but it's nuanced and it is definitely enjoyable. Mm. On its own, I think this works as an Ihonshu that you can relax to at the end of the day. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the food I prepared. So, as I'm sure you know by now, it's always best to start with the cleaner flavor profiles and then move to the sweeter flavor profiles. So I'm going to start with the asparagus on this one. Interesting. It doesn't seem to change the flavor of the asparagus significantly. Now, when I cooked the asparagus, I specifically added lemon to it to try to keep it somewhat on the bitter side. Because this is a dry nihonshu, I didn't want to go too sweet. Because sweeter food doesn't seem to match well with dry nihonshu. But I think I'm going to go ahead and try another piece of the asparagus. Let's see if maybe... Interestingly, no effect. They both seem to have very similar flavors. Or at least they don't interact in a complex way. Still, it is enjoyable. I wonder if I use a different seasoning with the asparagus, if that would bring out a different note. But let's go ahead and try the fish now. I'm very excited for this. It's been a while since I prepared any kind of fish, so... just the slightest hint of vanilla. That seems to be a common trend with dry Nihon shoes. Okay, I just got the briefest hint of melon, again. And there was this slight creamy warmth. I almost want to say like a brownie again, but I need to try more. I can't say with certainty. Almost a caramel quality. Hint of vanilla, hint of caramel.
And there's the hint of melon. Ooh. And almost a slight orange quality. That was interesting. This is an interesting Nihon shoe and fun to drink. But now let's try the last dish of the evening. Let's see. There's the brownie. I definitely get a, a brownie quality when matching this Nihonshu with the chicken. The chicken is, it's not overly seasoned. A little oily, but that seems to work with the dryness of the Nihonshu. If I had to guess, I would say that the chicken is just on the edge of being too sweet. Not quite. It still falls within the spectrum of matching with the Nihonshu, but it, if, you, if it were any more sweet, I do not believe it would work particularly well. Okay. With the second bite, it definitely brought the herbal aspects of the Nihonshu right to the surface. There wasn't the hint of brownie. Again. Still not bad. All in all, I've been finding it very interesting to try to match these Nihonshu with Western foods. Drier Nihonshu are harder, I think, to pair. Because you, you really have to find just the right style of light food. For Nihonshus like this, fish is usually recommended. But even then, depending on the style of fish you buy, you can get very different results. And that is something I will be exploring more of in the future. But for now, I think this brings us to the end of our review. So I want to thank everyone for your support. I've always appreciated reading the feedback and hearing any news or anything that you have to say about my channel. And I just ask that if you do like my content, please make sure you click subscribe, hit the bell to make sure you get updates and notifications whenever I upload a new video, and please leave a, com or please leave a comment. Give me your feedback. I really need it. I want it because I want to do better videos. I want to make better videos for you, my viewers. And I am changing some things up. I will be doing a special episode next week in which I will be inviting a foreigner to join me for a special review. But until then, I hope that everyone keeps safe and always be willing to go beyond the horizon because that's how you gain new experiences. That's how you meet new people. And that's always where the most exciting things will happen to you. Until next time, this is Matthew in Nihon. And I'll see you next time. Ciao,